All right, guys, welcome to Sunfish Budget. This is episode number two. We're gonna be prepping to live in our camper. We're gonna be knocking some trees down and doing some directional drilling. So you're gonna learn something today. I learned a lot on this day about directional drilling. So grab a bowl of popcorn, hit the subscribe button, and enjoy the show. Thanks for watching, we'll see you at the end. Slight little, even a slight little cut in there. See how the water just, the sap is just pouring out of this tree. It's like a fountain. Yeah, and you say we don't have enough maple trees to do it, but Darren said we do. We should try it. <laughs> shindig on Saturday and today is Tuesday the 9th of March and we have just moved our camper from this side of the property all the way over here yeah that is a lot nicer that's real close to the ground there yeah, the because step. last time I fell. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh. I, was, I was pretending. I thought there was like a normal step there and I just, ow. Oh, that would hurt. We got two en eg enters and exits from the bathroom. Fancy. Not fancy. I'd rather go well, from I the can, bedroom. I can open the door when I'm taking a deuce. Yeah, you can wave to anybody working on the house. You can look outside while I'm using the bathroom right there. Yeah, All right. just what daddy likes. Okay. So home sweet home, you say? I don't know. We can put stuff underneath there. Like what? Put the dog kennel right underneath here. Oh, so good. Well, hey, we'll have her inside the, the when we leave and stuff like that. Yeah, there's trees under here to put stuff in. The whole thing. Oh, like when the kids are naughty? Yep. There you go. Look at that. There's your uh, timeout zone. There's, uh, so is that there's for a vacuum unit or something? Or what is that? That's a, that's a crap 
Ah, poopy pipe. Shows what I know. Yeah, I like this. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, talk to people as you take poop at oh, construction site. Hey guys, how's it going? Have that open while you're using the bathroom? How awesome is that? No, hmm, I thought gonna I go with be your favorite. Slim to none. <laughs> Not my favorite at all. Love how it's facing everyone too. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, this goes underneath Logan's bed. bed. Oh, lo yeah. What is this? It's just storage, and you can access it from that side, too. Hey, look at me, Mama. Hey, buddy. Is there one right there, too? Oh, Dutchman's gonna work. The Dutchman's gonna be good for our build. Mm -hmm. That there, Clark? That's an RV. <laughs> huh? Don't you take a liking to it? It's going home with us next month. <laughs> See, this is why I had it planned out. You got the power. Right here on this right. corner, and it's a really short. Yeah, distance to there. We already got it. Right. All right, guys. So we're getting started with the underground directional drilling. And we've got Kyle here. I've been talking with him for a month to get uh, everything ready for the directional drilling, get all the electricity lines, all the pipes put in the ground so that um, when we knock this house down, that's behind us, when we knock the house down, we will, um, we will be able to hook power up immediately to our uh, camper and uh, have water and everything so that we can make it through the summer. We are gonna put electric and water that comes to here from way up there at the house. Um, and we're taking out our overhead power lines. We'll start back at that pole, come underground to here, it'll poke out of the ground and then they're gonna run a one inch line that goes from the shop all the way back to the chicken coop back there. And then they'll run a two inch line that goes to what's gonna end up feeding the house. We have got um, the well and Kyle, Kyle and Connor are going to pound a pipe in that is gonna feed water to our shop. And he's already done the pre-digging this morning. It's a little luckily we're in sand and the frost is out so we don't have to worry about uh, trying to get through frost this morning um, but here is here is the see the gas line in there that I put into the shop uh, but this is the five foot deep hole that they dug uh, all the electrical lines will go in I think he said at three feet deep <clears throat> but this water line will go down six feet and then come up through the garage floor so that we have uh, I finally have water out to my shop that I've wanted since we bought the place. Now, this is my grandma and grandpa's house all growing up and uh, used to run around this place as a kid. And uh, now we are, now we're tearing it down. It's kinda bittersweet. There she goes, baby. So if none of you know how this works, I just learned this morning. And so what this thing does is when they're going straight in the ground, it's when they're not wanting to turn, this thing spins. If you see, there's a little angle, a little angle on that. So when they want to turn it, what they do is they put it in the direction, 
they want to turn it and then they push the pipe straight into the ground and it actually starts to turn it so they can go up down and side to side so this device here this just keeps track of where that sucker's at yep yep so this will okay it finds a, a sensor in that head right there Dummy can do this. Right, Come on, this right, is easy. Right, right. Dog messing with you. Uh, sweet. All right, man. I'm excited to see this sucker work. Yeah, yeah I've always. Quick. Like a big thing. Well, they got that spoon, they call it, pointing down. did a fantastic job wow all right guys Thank you for watching today's app. Oh, that right there? That might be the shipping container home that we're building. But you can't see it yet. You gotta wait. You gotta watch the episodes. You gotta be patient, you guys. I wanna give a special thank you to Kyle and Connor from J. Anderson Underground. You guys just did an awesome job. Uh, us not having to dig trenches and put these lines in, it was it's going to save us a ton of time and a ton of headaches. So you guys just did an awesome job. Thank you so much. Uh, next week, we're going to be working with some electrical. We're going to be showing you some of our estate sale, doing the final walkthrough of the house before the backhoe tears it down, and a tree might fall on the house or something. I don't know. But uh, if you would, please subscribe. Please like the video, and we'll see you guys next week. She wants to explore. All this stuff, it smells so different. Everything smells weird. <laughs>